Good morning. It is Tuesday, the 21st of August, day 140. I'm leaving my campsite here. Wasn't much to it, but it was enough. It's uh, going on seven o'clock, it's a little cool out. I've got a big climb to do. Well, several in succession. And then uh, in about 9.3 miles, which could be a lot later because of the, the weight I'm carrying and all that. Uh, is the Mahusik Notch. It's the toughest mile on the trail. It's big boulders, so that could take a long time. And then once you get through that, uh, I thought maybe might be at that time of day where I'd be camping. It'd be about 11 miles or so. But if you go up to the next mountain, there's one called the the Arm. That's a tough one too, so a lot of people would try to get over that. Uh, if I have the strength and the time, I might try that too because uh, it's supposed to start raining tonight at 11 and it's difficult enough, but in the rain or the wet, lightning, who knows, it sure would make it even more difficult. So um, I'm about 2.9 miles away from Maine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start heading that way. Box turtle out. Okay. I was successful at climbing Mount Success. And it uh, looks like there's a blanket of clouds down below in the valley. I slept down there about a mile away. Heading north. Just crossed the border of New Hampshire to Maine. One state left. 13 down. I did 15 and a half miles yesterday, by the way. Don't think I'll get that far today, but hopefully I uh, knock out some of the hard ones. Not like these easy ones I'm doing right now. <clears throat> All right, see you later. Okay, I'm in Maine. They say no rain, no pain, no main. Well, I've had a lot of rain this year. And it's gonna start raining tonight again. And I've had some pain. Took me off the trail for a while. Hope that doesn't happen again. I can put up with the rain. Head north. Well, I just stopped for lunch at Full Goose Shelter. Now I have to climb up uh, about a half a mile up this hill here. And then I come down, and when I get down, I'm gonna hit, run into the toughest mile on the trail called the Notch. It's a mile long of big boulders. And then we'll see how I feel after that, how much time I have. I guess the Notch take, will probably take me in a couple hours or so. I'm gonna put my checking poles away, tape up my ring, and go on all fours. And then uh, going up the other side, it's called the arm, it's real steep, but it's gonna be uh, really slippery if I wait till tomorrow when it's raining. So I uh, might be doing some night hiking tonight. Hope not. We'll see how that goes, box turtle out.
Well, that went better than I thought. It took me about 80 minutes to get through there. I put away my trekking poles. I taped up my ring so I didn't scratch it up. One time, I, uh, I did a risky maneuver. It's pretty scary in there. I, I had to turn around and let myself down to rocks below. You know, my feet weren't touching for a while, so I was gonna have to you know, hop off, slide down, hop off, and not too far, because the momentum would have taken me over the edge. So I, after I did that, uh, found out there was a, a stairway around the big rocks. So after that, I looked a little closer. Okay, we're gonna move on to the, uh, the arm. That's another challenge. Well, that was quite a way to end the day. I went up the, uh, I went through the Mahusik Notch, and then I followed that up with the, climbing up the steep Mahusik Arm. I'm pretty tired. I'll find a tent site, go to sleep, and it's gonna rain tomorrow, so all day till about six, so. Oh well, I got that knocked out, I'm happy. This is Spec Pond Outlet. And there's the outlet. I'm gonna go over and uh, stay at the Spec Pond Shelter. Put up my tent there. And I like it because, uh, well, there's some water and there's a bear box and I have a lot of food, so I, don't, I won't have to hang it tonight. And if I stayed up there, it would have been like, uh, like staying at Carter Dome a few days ago. Pretty chilly, so it's a little more protected down here. So we're heading this way. Okay, this is the end of day 140, Tuesday, August 21st. This is uh, this is where I'm gonna camp tonight. There's a spec pond outlet down there. The uh, shelter house is over this way. Well, the shelter. Uh, I won't be staying in, in there. There's a water supply somewhere up there. And I don't need enough. I, I have enough. I don't need any more right now. And this is a. Uh, this is where I'm gonna set up my tent. I haven't done this before. When I was on uh, Killington Mountain, I had a site like this, and the guy came by, and uh, I said, I've never set these up before. Like I said, I'm gonna have to figure it out. And he says, well, I have uh, these uh, little hooks you could use. And I said, why don't you just use it now? I, was, I camped in the sand, so that worked out. Uh, it was pretty tough going over through the Mahusik Notch. And that Mahusik arm, that climb was uh, pretty tiring for me. I did 12.9 miles today and I'm gonna sleep well. I have a, a light dinner. I, I ate uh, pretty good at uh, lunchtime. So I'm gonna figure out how to set up this tent and wash up, brush my teeth. There's a bear box down that way somewhere. So I'll, I'll carry all my stuff down there. I won't have to hang it tonight. That's one of the reasons I came here also. And then tomorrow we're gonna start off with another big climb. It's supposed to start raining about midnight and rain all day tomorrow to about six o'clock. So have that to look forward to. I'm just happy I, I got those two big landmarks knocked off the list. So looking forward to more of Maine. Box turtle out.